Very colorful one today. Okay, 867, transpose matrix. Given a matrix A, return the transpose of A. Okay, I mean, I guess that is what it sounds like. Uh, can I do, uh, what's it? Is, is uh, NumPy in this? Because <laughs> that would make it easy. Uh, I think I literally just did this, too. Did this. But, um, ah, let's just do it. I mean, I think this is uh, straightforward-ish. Um, just checking that the uh, I cannot be zero because then we should check for it if it is. Um, but yeah, mm, well, I guess we could just set this. Um, yeah, actually, the other way. Yep. Um, Close A of J sub I. Did I do this one? Yeah, no, that should be okay. Alright, let's run it. Right, let's submit it. <laughs> oh no. Really? Did I. Uh, did, did I not run the. Oh, I didn't run the, the test. Whoops. That's also a little sad. I guess I didn't do it with different links, so that's why this didn't get checked. Let me do this one. Oh, I did do this one. Because you need... Okay. Whoops. We used the border <laughs> Uh. Watch that one bit. And that's why you always test, even if you're a little confident. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there isn't that mu much uh, intricacies to this problem. Uh, it's just, you know, for every I, uh, A sub I comma J, you want to get, return A sub J comma I. Uh, and there are a number of ways to do this. This is pretty straightforward. Uh, I actually think, I mean, there, there, was, um, there was a lead code contest, I think even yesterday, uh, where there was a sim essentially the same problem. So... Uh, I also feel like I've done something similar before, but I don't know if it's, yeah, I don't know. But uh, but yeah, pretty straight, uh, straightforward problem, so I definitely just practice and warm up. I mean, I, if I could do it in two minutes, given with a wrong answer, uh, you probably could practice it. It's just, yeah, making sure you get your index.